What's going on guys? We are having a new version of Laravel Livewire 1.2.0 and the most exciting thing with this version is we have a file upload system. Yeah. So now we can see how we can upload the file with no worries with no configuration just use wire model and the photo done we are done with the file upload system so i have created a very easy and uh, nice looking system to upload the file so it says upload file click on here and i'm going to choose the files so i'm choosing the file and these files are showing here you can remove any file if you want and then if you click on this save button it's having a loading indicator which loads for some time then we have a flash message of file uploaded and on our aws i have actually uploaded it on aws so aws bucket we have this live wire bitfumes live wire bucket and in this we have this photos and all these photos are here that's cool and the interesting thing is every photo is publicly saved we have not configured anything everything is configured everything is configured from level live wire this uh, some of the JS thing is uh, done with the Alpine JS styling with Tailwind CSS and you know it's a uh, level everything in this episode so I'm very excited to show you everything I got from level live wire and if you like this episode please please share this video on Twitter and don't forget to tag Celeb the creator of Livewire that there is a great video about Laravel Livewire file upload I highly recommend to please share this video on social media and tag him and now let's start now let's start with creating a new Laravel application so Laravel new Livewire upload And here we have the fresh Laravel 7 installation and let's start with uh, Livewire and go to the docs we have installation and composer require Laravel Livewire and before I just say git init and give the first commit so let's say composer require Laravel Livewire And here you can see finally we have this uh, livewire component and we have created this input field and now we can start with the file upload so let's go to the level live documentation and here you can see we have a new file upload section so let's go and let's start with the file uploading so what you need to do you need to use this trait which is called with file upload in your PHP component so copy this one and we have this file upload one and here I can simply say use and with file upload like here and we are good to go. So just like every time we create a public field called photo we have this one and now we can easily create the section of file upload. So just like every other tag is there wire model of photo and that's it so let's create this and what I can do I can say here wire model is photo so let's now go on the localhost 8000 now open the console and have a look on the network tab let's choose a file here and hit on live wire and you can see we have a three ajax request first is file uploader and this is the saying we have done this and now you can see we have this start uploading action finally the third one is action which is method is finished upload so this is very nice and in that way we are ensured that on our photo variable we have the live wire uploaded photo 
if you are not getting this then you can see we have this save method so let's copy this save method and i will paste this save method here so what we are doing here we are just having a validation on the photo i'm saying that is an image and having a maximum size of 1024 and then just store it as any other file you store so much easy wow i just give a big thanks to Celeb and he has done an incredible job let's see this in action so one more i will create a simple button and this button is actually saying save and then on fire click dot prevent so preventing the default action and then i will hit this save method from this file uploader we have this one so that's very very easy and now let's see on our storage app you can see we have a live via temp directory and we have one file which is actually the logo we have uploaded so this means whenever livewire try to upload this three ajax request is actually uploading your file really uploading your file in a livewire temp directory and this temp directory as it says it's a temp holding the image just for some of the time so once again i refresh this page try to choose this time i'm choosing let's say laravel image and then once again you can see we have another image inside the live via temp which is called laravel and if you are thinking this will grow up with time no worries because laravel live wire will clean up this every day okay so we have uploaded this one and now what if i click on the save button let's see what's going to happen click on save one more ajax request which is method having a save so you can see whatever method we have defined here which is triggered and now you can see we have a new directory called photos and we have a unique id on the name of the photo and the photo is really uploaded wow it just i think one minute we have started learning how to upload a photo and it photo is uploaded so much freaking easy thing wow that's incredible next you can see we have the validation also so let's learn about the validation here we have and we have given the image max is 1024 but i have some image which are larger than 1 mb so let's select another image and this image apple keyboard is more than 1 mb so what if i hit the save button you can see if you go on the storage on the photos we just have one previous larval and we don't have new image although actually we are getting the real validation errors so in the data or in the error bag we have photo may not be greater than 1024 kb so it's easy just like we always show the errors we can easily show the errors on this front end so we can simply say error of photo if there is then show me the error so let's go to file uploader blade and just above this i'm giving the error and once again refresh this page choose a larger file hit on save and now we have an error which says the photo may not be greater than 1024 kb what if i want to change it and i say 10240 that means it's a 10 kb file max allow it's 10 kb so now let's choose this file hit on save and yes it is saved with no error and this means in our storage we have a new file which is for very high resolution apple keyboard wow that's an amazing thing but also there are many things inside the magic of livewire file upload you can upload it on your local also you can upload it on your disk so the second parameter you have you can define it as a disk you want to upload so see we have this configuration of laravel in this configuration 
in this configuration we have this file system and in this file system we have lots of disks so we have a local public and s3 let's configure the s3 so that we can upload it on s3 so if i try to upload it on s3 choose a new file let's have a big file click on save and it's uploading 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 and then giving this error and this error is saying that uh, you don't have the adapter for s3 so i'm going to install it and now i have installed the s3 adapter from having this uh, laravel documentation also i have configured this uh, bucket on s3 called bitfumes live wire and have some uh, credentials on my env file okay so everything is set up and also i have restarted the server like this and let's try to upload it on s3 so let's now go and refresh this page and let's choose another file once again a big file click on save and it's having a pending that means it's doing something which is taking some time and finally we are getting success to 0, 0 200 response and if i refresh on my s3 bucket you will see we will have a new file for this one and you can see this file is if i open this uh, okay so we have some problem that this file is not publicly accessible but don't worry because livewire has something for you because if i go on the upload part we can see we have store publicly so that's very nice so i can store it publicly so now if i once again give a new image and let's choose a light image so that it will easily upload it click on save and it's pending done and let's go back on the bucket refresh this s3 and yeah we have another image which is 2kb and we can easily open this one in a new tab which is publicly available cool so this is a very nice thing but remember when we have chosen the large file like this one it is taking too much time to upload it will be good if we have the validation once we choose this file so it, we don't have to wait for user to click that is called the real-time validation so we have real-time validation file validation real-time validation and real-time validation works very easily you just need to say updated and before the name of your variable so photo photo so we can copy this one from here and just above this save i can say updated photo and image size must be 1024 not greater than 1 mb so i can remove this validation from here also now as soon as i choose the file let's choose first the logo laravel logo no problem but when i choose the keyboard you can see we have the photo may not be greater than 1024 kilobyte that's a real time validation and you can do anything on this validation just like you do any validation on laravel next i want to show you the preview okay next is preview so you have a helper function called temporary url and this is a temporary url which is very secure it's signed url and you can use it so we need to just check if there is a photo then give the preview okay so let's go here and just after this i can say if there is a photo that means the photo has some value then show me the image tag with a photo temporary url okay so let's refresh this page once more and try to choose once again logo and yeah you can see this is the temporary preview and i can make this 10240 like here and then i can show you the preview of high definition image which is 
instant <laughs> and because it is very very high definition we can give some width so width will be let's say 250 and now once again refresh choose a file just select the file and we have the preview what an amazing thing just a real-time validation just a real-time preview everything in live wire but as I told you this live wire uploading takes some time so we should have some loading indicator cool so let's have some loading indicator so we have this loading indicator and let's have this loading indicator on here and we can say loading on the photo okay so once again refresh this page and click on choose and if I say yeah so there was a flash of loading but actually the delay is in the uploading of the image so instead of having a target of photo I will target this save method so now what I can do I can say target of save and I can say uh, storing to s3 like this okay so once again refresh this page and choose a big file so there will be a flash of uploading and if I click on save it says storing to s3 storing to s3 it's taking too much time because this is a very big image and finally because it is done so that message is gone and we should expect a new file inside our s3 which is for the once again the keyboard one which is this one which is actually publicly visible that's good okay so next thing is uh, I want to show you is uh, multiple upload so we can also upload more than one file just we want uh, if we have handle multiple file handling multiple file means you just need to give a multiple tag on this input field then this is not going to just photo it's a photos of array array and now we can actually comment this real-time validation and then on this I can say uh, like here we have actually for each of every photo and then upload it on s3 so this should be dollar photo and then photos dot asterisk we have a validation and that's it next on this everywhere whenever we have photo we can change it to photos and now when we want to give the preview of a photo then once again I can have a for each loop of photos as photo and end for each and giving the uh, preview then we should have uh, wire model is photos and that's it so we are ready to go with the multiple file upload click open and yes you can see we have two files and these two files are multiple file uploaded that's amazing thing so we have covered handling handling multiple file and real-time validation temporary preview testing we have not done yet but uploading to Amazon s3 we have done and configuring automatic cleanup so whenever you want to use s3 then just like we have a live wire temp folder it filled with the lots of dummy images that happen also on the s3 but using this command you can clean up the s3 and on your local disk it is cleaned every 24 hour I have also showed you loading indicator now comes the most important thing progress indicator how much photo is uploaded so we are using here the alpine JS. so I can copy all these things or I can just copy the div outer div and we have a outer div then after this we have a loading indicator on the progress bar and just like here we have and one more div we need 
So we have lots of X data. So if you are not familiar with uh, Alpine JS, don't worry, it's super, super easy. So we are having all these things and we have this input, we have this button and uh, then what? Let's try this. But then we need to say Alpine JS, we need to grab the Alpine JS CDN. So let's grab the CDN from here. CDN and open welcome.plate at the top. Save this one and that's cool. Let's try to refresh and then choose a file. Choosing to file. And yeah, you can see the indicator was there. Now let's design this file uploading system to make it look good and I have added font awesome and tailwind CSS. So first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a simple div here and this div is saying upload images and then this input field I will use the class of hidden to hide it. So I just have a upload image div and there is no input field showing which is hidden. So because we have Alpine JS, I can simply give a X ref for file input and then on the click of this div, so at click, I can simply say dollar refs dot file input dot click. So I'm clicking this input by clicking on this div. That's good. Let's refresh and click here. And yes, you can see now we have this and it's working absolutely fine as it was before. And next I want to design this uh, upload image div and I already have some classes and styling for this div. So I will copy and paste it and you can get everything from the GitHub repository, the source code. So some of the border, background color and the linear gradient for the styling. And then we have something like this. But then what I can do here on my welcome.blade, I want to make it at the center. So I have a flex and justify center and then this div will just have a width of one by two. Refresh and yeah, something like this. Maybe we can give like margin y of 20. Okay, so I can give 10. Now this is good. But this save button should only be visible when we have some photos in our photos variable. So we have this photos variable and actually it's an array. And when we have something inside this, then only we should show the save button. So we have actually done this if there is a photo then show the photo so i will move this if else statement actually just if statement and i can move it after this div so we have like here and then i have this button so i can cut this button and move this button after the loop of the image then this image this button is only going to visible when we have some photos so now you can see we have two photos and then at last we have this button i also have some design for the photos and it's again very easy with the tailwind css and some styling gradient so i can give it like here once again you can get it from the github so let's choose these things and only one file and yeah a nice gradient save button I have here. Next I want to style this uh, image and uh, I should have some div that will actually move everything uh, the image inside that so I have a div once again and this div is going to hold the image tag. So once again some gradient styling and uh, rounded shadow transition so we have like this click upload once again and yeah that's good that's very nice actually we have here and uh, I can move this image at the center so one more div 
and this div is giving a flex just justify center refresh select different image and it is at the center choosing a different image this time and yeah at the center okay so this is very nice and what if uh, I want to remove this image so I should have a remove button so that's why I have one uh, font awesome and font awesome CDN is also included here so just inside this we have the eye tag where we have a time circle gray colored and floating on the right and then we have a wire click of remove so click here select image we have the image but we have this one here we can actually move this out of the div and then if i try hmm, this is here now what we need to do we, when we click on this we should trigger this remove function but we don't have any remove function yet so let's create the remove function inside this after save we, we should have a function called remove and this should get the index and then I will say this arrow photos is equal to array splice and giving the array from which I need to remove something giving the index and I just want one to remove then we have this remove uh, function and we have this for each loop and every for each loop has its loop index so we are passing the loop index also we need to give the key so wire key as the loop index so we have a loop index and once again here we also need to use the double curly braces and now let's try trying to select two images and I should grab some logos like here and yeah so Laravel JWT Mongo Deno so remove anyone yeah it's removed everything <laughs> let's check it what we have done wrong here okay so I should not reassign the removed value so now let's try to select different images and removing the second one which is remove last one and this and this whoa so we have removed everything next I want to do one more thing is that let's try to upload four images so we are uploading each image like this on s3 so if I hit on save button it's doing something but we are not getting any feedback that it is saved or not so on the network tab you can see it is uh, successful and we should have more than four five six seven images on the s3 which is there so i'm going to remove everything so let's delete all and then i'm going to give some indicator so what i am going to do i'm going to use the loading so we can see we have these loadings so i just comment this because wire loading and we need to give the target so this button is very nice but i want one more button and this button is only visible for wire loading and wire target is save and inside this we are not going to use the save instead we are going to give a simple icon which is actually a loading icon so I have this loading icon paste it and once again try to upload only one image this and then hit on save you can see we have this indicator and it is done when we upload it the image successfully that is gone we should remove the save button while we are loading so we can say wire loading dot remove and when we are loading then it is going to remove this save button 
okay once again refresh this page and then we are uploading and click on save yeah that's good and we should have a save button back one more we can remove this wire click save on the loading button that's good next when we successfully upload the things then we should remove this uh, photo and we should give some uh, session or indicator that file is uploaded successfully on the save uh, when we have done everything successfully then we can say photos is again an empty array also we have a session flash of message message is file uploaded okay so then we need to show this one and livewire has this uh, flash messages and it's very easy we have given the flash message and to show the flash message we can use this if statement and we can show this just above everything else and now let's try to configure this one also because this is not bootstrap i'm going to configure it in my way so now we have this and paste it so refresh okay so we have some problem somewhere okay so we have to give the semicolon then click on upload uploading two images close click on save it's doing something because we have the indicator and when we click it's not doing anything and file is uploaded woohoo very nice so this is the way we can create this awesome thing with livewire file upload new file upload system and we have covered everything from this livewire file upload new file upload on the version 1.2 so if you have any doubt please feel free to message me and please please share this video on twitter and tag celeb that this is a great video on the new file upload system so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye